ok and let us start off with some puzzles and after that we're gonna do some commentary hopefully okay let's have a look these puzzles are also almost exclusively forced moves where sometimes the slow move is the forced move but you always have to find checkmate thinking about getting the king here so pawn here takes rook here he has to take again and then we can go queen h8 and bishop here and if he doesn't take he gets mated with queen g8 and if he doesn't take the rook he gets mated with queen h8 so it's got to be pawn h7 and rook here and Check from the back so he cannot retreat. Okay, that's a nice one. Next one. It almost feels like it's a rook here. Looks very forced. He blocks. And then we can go knight h6. And we, we threat, threaten rook takes, and I don't see how he defends. Yeah, he can drop a queen, but I'll just take and otherwise he runs to f8 so i'm gonna go with rook here and knight h6 yeah and we got the answer he has to drop something random there's no way he can drop protect this bishop and we take the bishop okay um hmm. First thought something rookie two and thinking about getting the bishop maybe in play. Somehow this feels like an important one. Let's see rookie two first. He goes here and the checks are yeah bishop at g2. He can just take so it should should not work. What about knight d3? It's also looks tricky, but tricky is not good enough. What about bishop at d2? King takes. Oh, do do share if you uh, see the solution. <laughs> do share. I might respond a bit slower since I'm already on the delay for commentary later. This looks hard. Um, 
knight d3, rook c1, what about knight g2? If takes, there's rook e2 and knight e3 mate. Knight g2, rook e2, he has to go to f1 and knight e3 is mate. So, let's see uh, queen takes. Now let's check king of one, there's knight e3 and rook e2, so king of one doesn't work, so he has to take. Queen takes g2, then we got bishop here, and king takes bishop here. he takes this then he can run to g3 so maybe it's somewhere around those lines but then with knight here he knight here king of one we have bishop here Is winning so takes bishop d2 wins okay I think we got it huh ah now he runs okay my bad we gotta do this then yeah we needed two bishops here to make the queen sack happen I had the right idea but once you remove uh, the possibility that he takes here and you don't have two bishops on f3 you lose so you gotta do it the other way around very nice puzzle Alrighty. Hey, train flipper. What's up? Does this need to be forcing moves? Take, take, bishop here, take, queen of eight. Bishop takes, bishop f6. Knight takes, or is it the silent killer, bishop f6? Okay, let me do this. Let me go with Bughouse Knight. <laughs> Bughouse Knight is not correct. That, that one is also not correct. Wow. So what now? This one maybe? Yeah, this was not correct. It was giving me an an error. Yeah. 
Yeah, thinking about this. No. Or this then maybe. To go here. He doesn't have much pen checks though. No, also not correct. All moves will be plus. Uh, we just take the knight maybe. Ah, we gotta take like this. Less checks. Okay. The the puzzles where everything is winning, they are less interesting, in my opinion. Troll puzzle, exactly. <laughs> And the, if you look at this one, then you can already imagine maybe in some scenarios you're getting made it. But the previous one, there was not. This one is also just if you want to be safe, you take the pawn and everything's fine. But you can imagine something happening maybe on these squares. It's of course better when you are under pressure of checkmate to find something. Yeah, this one I need to find made in, made in a couple probably. What's the fastest? Rook d4? <laughs> yeah, of course it's rook d4. Uh, nice. Uh, it doesn't allow a slower mate, so the point is that if he takes with the queen, then you take here. And you cover the exits. Okay, let me keep an eye on this. Okay, they haven't started yet. Let's take a breath before we do something. Because maybe it's some gonna be something weird. But I think it's just queen takes. Too fast. Some puzzles are kind of weird, yeah. Like uh, this is more like it, probably. This feels like a, an actual game position. But we're not gonna go here, we're gonna switch to commentary. Oh yeah, um, very nice legion. I'll um, we can do them another time, or we can do. Uh, you can send me the link, and I can do them once on stream. But it's probably nicer if you're there, so I'll keep it in mind. Hey Lali, let me. Uh, Make a poll. I'm 
let me uh, know what you think who will win this okay thanks uh, Legion I'll take a look This will be uh, very serious, I think, um, Lali, because we had uh, these guys playing eight games, and I, or well, maybe this was, no, I think it's all Crazy House, and it's 4-4, uh, four, four. and uh, we basically have El Duto, who is uh, a rising star. And um, we have Terra, who has the experience. No, if you mean against me, I'm watching these games and commentary, so no. And if you mean the tournament, sadly also no, because it's already started. And no late joiners allowed. But yeah, Terra has experience, and El Duto is a rising star, and good opening preparation usually so it's gonna be interesting you can um, pick either so far it's four votes for Terra and three votes for El Duto 95 good move um, maybe this pawn here it's very interesting to play like this to go for these squares. El Duto didn't uh, <laughs> let us see what happens in the game. And he just sacrificed his queen. I think it was interesting. Usually with this pawn here you have a very nice attack going on on the dark squares. And bishop at c3 is a very good move to uh, try to renew that that uh, initiative. He plays f4 now. I wonder if there is something like a knight at g3 here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thanks. Train flipper. I always forget this. I even made separate scenes now, so I can just click quickly. <laughs> but I still forgot it. Yeah, but pawn of three. What's the follow up? Yeah, wonder if he's just gonna go for this and block. If you'd go here, that's knight at g3. This is, seems losing. Yeah, just take. You're not made it in any shape or form. Oh, he's going for forced mate. The queen was there. But is there something forced with pawn at g3 maybe? Pawn g3 takes pawn h4. That might be forced mate, yeah. Very nice. Not taking the queen, but taking some time to uh, calculate. So El Duto is 1 0 up. And Bishop f5 is not best, but the 
problem for Terra is going to be if he doesn't survive the openings, he's going to have a hard time. Because you can see how quickly Alduto plays the opening moves. He knows them, he studies them. This seems okay though for black. I mean, uh, yeah, now queen e4, queen e2. If you trade, you have to worry about pawn d7. It's not ideal. If queen f6, there was this. Pawn at d7, and then uh, force the king to d8, and then you can take. So bishop at c4 was a very strong move. Yeah, if there's trade coming, you have to be worried by uh, queen at c8, block, pawn d7, knight takes d7, bishop takes d7, checkmate, and you have to worry about pawn at d7. So you could trade and play something like uh, knight b6 or e6. But now it's uh, white initiative, and I guess this is just winning. Yeah, exactly, Lali. I am already in round four, yeah, Bacchus Knight. I beat um, Pepe uh, last week. Pepe, you. Yeah, and now uh, I think uh, pawn d7 and something like this. Pawn g5 mate, queen here, king f6 forced, pawn g5 is mate. It's a tough start for Terra, rough, rough, rough games. <laughs> Sarah's eye, yeah, it is. It is. Terra's gonna need a win here with white, I think. It's really hard to beat El Duto with that black opening he just played. So he'll, he'll, he'll need a plan with black. But in these white openings, he's very comfortable usually. In my experience, and 3 0 down is going to be rough. Yeah, it is. Just yes, it's my passion. You can check the bracket and uh, whatever over there. And we are already, uh, the tournament is progressing uh, gradually, so that was a mistake, queen d7. Yeah, opening is going very fast. Uh, chess is my passion, said that, oh no, Hawaii Blue said that, because they know what they are doing. It's not like they had this exact game before, but they know the, the plans that they want to go for. Uh, Pawn d7 deserves a try, I think. Somewhere. That was my roommate. <laughs> if 
you were paying attention. <laughs> okay, so... I thought white is clearly better and I think still so because you just with this knight and queen it's really hard to attack you need some time to put uh, uh, white blue this is round three and uh, the tournament is divided in three stages we have the knockout stage and then candidate stage and then world championship match and this is round three of the knockout stage and when sh when when you win round five of the knockout stage you go to the candidates and when you lose somewhere along that line you get into the losers bracket and you have to win in round nine or ten I'm not sure at the top of my head but you have to uh, go the distance yeah Terra is doing some defending here putting pressure on the clock and the back rank is still very weak whenever he he wants he wants in basically who wins okay he wants to get rid of the defender understandably but allowing stuff over there don't really like but maybe he has something here the point is that bishop at g2 comes after rook takes so he takes on f3 and now the most of the diagonal pieces are gone for El Duto. He only has two bishops left. I don't know about this decision. You get bishops here and queen here, maybe. Uh, now you can defend with queen and g3 and maybe this is mate. Obvious threat is mate in one of course. Thanks for following Grandmaster 2b. Um, maybe queen h4 is also worth a try but then rook h5 comes so what I would defend with either queen here or queen there yeah but what do you do about rook h5 a uh, queen h5 I mean you cannot take because of mate maybe you just ignore and go pawn h6 Still, you cannot take. But still, uh, pawn h6 is probably good enough. Maybe you get made it here, though. It's very unlikely to see draws a oh, white blue. Yeah, it's looking before at these. If knight e7, you threaten to go rook g8, forced to take with the rook, and then knight f7 is checkmate. And you also threaten some knight at g6 stuff. 
But I wonder if uh, knight e7, queen takes g2, take take, is anything. Okay, he found a way to trade queens and to get rid of the threat. But he's gonna get sacrificed on. Good move, rook f1. Point is also if you try to cover the rook from what, let's say, queen e1, you get made it with uh, takes. So he tries to run in the queen somehow. Or to do this. At least he's covering this square now for the moment. But it looks like El Duto is taking this. Yeah, Knight H4 made in a couple. Okay. Very nice. These are the games we want to see. And don't rule out Terra. If he keeps on playing like this, he'll uh, and he gains momentum. But yeah, Alduto is doing great. Okay, this line. Knight c6. I think the response is gonna be this or this. It's at least not in the Elduto book. Thanks for following. Take key. Take hey B. So, yeah, he is looking at this night drop. Whoa. Strong arrow game today. Terra trying to counterattack quickly. Don't know if this is gonna work though. You still take. The knight seems very nice, but it's. It can't go. And what was the evaluation, uh, train flipper? Everything better for white, yeah, exactly. I thought so. But it, there were also a couple of moves that weren't just slightly worse for white, but immediately losing. That was the problem with the position, and then Terra got into time trouble. Looking for this, because the fork still works here. Yeah, this is a nice defender, of course. But now he's gonna go ahead and chase the queen away. Maybe queen a5. Because the knight's hanging. Okay, queen a5 this way, and the knight covers the square, the squares where a bishop can go, and then you can trade the knight for. The bishop, and if there comes a pawn to cover, you can probably sacrifice your knight here and go for pawn f4. There we go. And now you try to control the dark squares uh, with pawn e3. Maybe even sometimes there are ideas of getting rid of this one. Probably I'd go queen h5 here. But okay, he wants to repeat this. Why I was gonna go queen h5. 
is because I want to prepare an attack on this side of the board with bishop h4, maybe pawns here. He goes queen h5 now, but he wasted the pawn. Hey, okay. <laughs> Good timing. 16, 9 out of 5 looked like a blunder. <laughs> Nightbot does no crazy outs. Yeah, correct evaluation by Oper. I mean, why to piece up, but this feels uncomfortable. I'm not sure if Alduto is an underdog. Hey Joanna. Ah oh, yeah, you're working of course. Good luck with working. I'll wave. I was wondering if you... Uh, 9 out of 6 is huge. You can even go pawn f6 now, maybe. Watch out, though. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if there is really an underdog. I mean, the score now says that Terra is might have been. But It's looking to go here. You want to maybe try a move like pawn at h3. Then there's some sort of pin idea, maybe. Pawn here, pawn takes, bishop here. Maybe you already busted after knight of six. So he, he feels like he has to cover this square. He takes twice. I guess you take with rook. Queen here, you can block with the bishop. If you take with the bishop, you lose the rook for a moment on g2, and I would like to have that. Hey, gingerbread. Oh, it's not even taking twice. Uh, can he do that? Wonder if queen at g7 is a move. Okay. Three is uh, probably safer option. Threatens knight d6. King is relatively safe on d7. There's no knight anymore. Thanks, Joanna. Yeah, um, he's trying though. B7 comes. Just sack the house and then mate with the queen. That's his plan. You gotta take, yeah. Yeah, nice. Go on the dark squares. Once and then you then you're safe on C7. He found the way to go. Nice, nicely done. Now there is no checks. Nice defense. Queen of G7 seemed uh, better.
But okay, Terra on the board, 3-1. And... We have an... Sort of the similar game, but the bishop was not developed to b5, like in the previous game. And to the untrained eye like mine, all these positions are the same. But um, there are some nuances. And I like this. I want to trade away this defender usually. And I think black is happy with these knights here. Don't know about rook c1. It feels natural to go for bishop c7, take here, and then try to go pawn e5. But maybe a more Maybe a drop move was necessary to try to get rid of the knight somehow. For example, a move like bishop at h3 or bishop g4. But it's all good. I mean, he just has to cover. Hmm. And bishop at g4, I would at least spend some time on. Because this threatens mate, so he has to take, and he, and he is very close to getting mated. You cannot take here because of knight e2. Queen g1, and knight takes f2 mate. So therefore he played this move. But now this comes, the queen is saved. Maybe okay, but he's gonna go bishop at g3. Train flipper suggesting knight takes h2, because then you can go queen here, pawn here, sacrifice the queen, and knight f5. I think was his plan. King may may run. Maybe the move order was queen takes f2. Why not? What's the difference between these players and 2600 guys? I think uh, in my case I would say I have better tactics than these guys. Better tactical view and some sometimes strategical is also a part, but I, for example, a player like Terra, I think, is very good strategically speaking. If you go here, Queen H3 mates you with Pawn G2 next. So probably the other way around was better. To threaten knight e2, to threaten pawn h2 and bishop g2. Um, but okay. It still looks okay. This, yeah, it looks like uh, Terra is about to take over. He could consider to take taking, um, but he's going for knight g4. Seems also logical. You want knight f6, and then the king has to move here, 
and then you go knight h5 and then you drop the queen you see the knights are covering all the squares and now he's blockading his own so I would consider maybe queen h5 here to threaten knight f6 queen takes h6 and there we go this is very hard to deal with because another threat is also that a pawn drops here now you can just take a knight e5 this way it also works I guess a little trouble finding it quickly but Terra has time and Alduto has not or that the problem is he had to play Queen h3 first to make this a threat now the king is very safe and Terra can take his time so Alduto uh, that's a bit of Sometimes Alduto's problem, he comes very well out of the opening and then his position afterwards um, is not, it's not as concrete sometimes and he has to find some strong moves. Sometimes he, uh, he blunders that and then Terra takes over. Yeah, there's also Pawn E3 here, I believe, instead of that, but this is... El Tutor territory, so I would be scared to go in this against him. The point of pawn e3 is that you have bishop f2 and this. I had some game in this line with black uh, the other yesterday against uh, Jan Lee. It's a very tense line. I mean, black sacks the queen, but he wants to play with the minor pieces. Alduto playing comfortably. It's a bad sign for him, yeah. So knight d5 save both threats and threats the bishop. Let's do material counts. Knight two pawns or knight one pawn for the queen. But the dark squares are a bit weak and this knight is somewhat to the side. But besides that it feels like white should be able to get out of this. Nice move. Um, let's say black does pawn at uh, g6. I think one of the ideas is to go pawn at h6 to force the bishop to trade somehow. And here you can expect maybe a queen sacrifice back and then bishop g7 for some material gain. It's almost, I mean, if you play queen at g5 and then bishop f6 is something you should consider. And then the queen sacrifice is almost first that comes to mind. But I wonder if he's going to play pawn at e3 here. And just give up everything. If you take the knight, maybe that's better. Pawn at d2, bishop takes, pawn takes f2, looks scary. So maybe you want to throw in this check in between and just castle.
So I would like to go bishop e5 here. Don't calculate anything other. <laughs> Just go bishop b5 and see whatever what happens. Okay, not played. Now black maybe have queen b2. Um, Tara is also a good good blitz player. Yeah, so he tactically speaking, he will be uh, he he will be spotting these forks, and this is of course uh, very dangerous. So it's getting really close to get Terra getting three games in a row. And castling is very hard, exactly. I guess just bishop d7. Okay, goes knight c6. The king, then maybe there was something, there's something to be said to leave this square for the king. But now pawn takes f2 surely is uh, very strong. Not a free pawn. Yeah, this is over, but you have to win. That's the. I mean, it feels over, but you have to be. You have to make some precise moves. Maybe knight c1. This is not possible. Knight takes bishop. But the problem for uh, white is that he doesn't have any mate. Watch out though. Yeah, he doesn't fall for it. There is some trick. Queen takes c6 and knight f6 and pawn e7. If this knight is taking the rook. But he's just mating with the pawns and uh, does a very good job. Pawn g4. Keep the pawns rolling, pawn at f4. No worries, okay. <laughs> Over. It happens to the best of us. Okay, another uh, London game. Where he goes for very hardcore bishop idea uh, thanks for following Nurja but I don't know about this I like e4 as well there are, this is a threat just take the center and then his extra bishop at d6 is is gonna be traded and then I think white is happy with how the opening went So 3-3, three, three, exciting comeback after a quick 3-0. And uh, Terra's match experience coming in. Not beating himself up, not tilting after that third game where he had a very good chance. Just keep on grinding. Yeah, this is usually an idea to trade some pieces and to avoid this happening. But here you see the problem with putting too many pieces on the same squares. 
I think you just can white has just a free attack now with pawn at h6 if he wants to. And just go on the dark squares. Um, Black's counterplay should maybe come from some pawn drops here, but it feels like he is not in time just yet. So he's gonna play defensive for a while. And I think, okay, the sacrifice is not, is working for some squares, but I think it's not winning on the spot or anything. Black can survive. But you always have to be careful with the pawn here that your f6 square is gonna be weak. So the yeah, exactly, Gingerbread. The trades are favoring white at the moment. So here you could consider sacrificing the bishop once again. And now you can see that this is going to be uh, this is going to be coming. Queen g4, pawn f6, and um, mayhem. But Alduto so far doing a good job. Just this pawn at f6 is getting stronger and stronger as a move to just cut off everything. Then pawn g7, play with the rook. Thanks, John, for the follow. But he has invested two pieces for a couple of pawns, so something has to happen soon. This could be uh, coming in between. Yeah, Alduta doing a good job. Not getting overrun. And now, you, now this is an important part of the game. If Terra manages to keep initiative, and if not, these pieces are getting taken away from the board, and then the extra pieces will come in handy. Maybe just this. And then how to decide where, which one to take first? Well, this has the added value that you go here but it runs into this so it doesn't really matter so the other way around would have run into this as well queen is in trouble Maybe he goes for this. Don't know if, if it works, but one of the ideas here is to go um, rook h8, bishop g7, win the queen. So Alduto has to defend, as he does. And now knight h6 isn't working because the queen comes in. And here knight h3 is winning. So you have to try something else, but it's not working. Knight e7 was too soon. Preparing move with, let's say, rook g3 was necessary. Now you just take. He doesn't take. Okay, then white is still in the game. Uh, there was also a bishop at h6 suggested by train flipper. Nice. 
As long as you don't give a knight, because in this position there's always a two knight checkmate coming. Ah, uh, there you go, see. Knight h3 take, knight f3 is always the threat. So now he's covered some. And uh, he can keep attacking, very nicely done. But this is because Elduto made some mistakes with the, with the low time. Yeah, this is painful. The, okay, you defend it once? Okay, I'm gonna do it again. You defend again? Alright, I'll repeat again. And then, if I don't have any pawns left, I'll uh, I'll take your queen. Knight at d7, probably. And now this is threatening, threatening mate. Ah. Uh. Alduto still in it somehow. Threatening knight at g8 probably. Or just knight takes h5. Ah, uh, there even was queen at f6. Apparently. But yeah, the, there is a lot of moves winning, but Terra is just calculating it out, I believe. There we go, queen h8, king h8 here, but he just takes the bishop. He's safe, he just had to check, I guess. It's all good. Made in one. Okay. Made in two. Also good. When made in one, look for better. Terra, four in a row after 3-0 down. Very nice. So, Alduto sticking to e4. This, this is a good opening for him. Terra switching it up again. I think that's a good idea. Because last game was not... He didn't win this game because he played a very good opening. Um, exactly GMB <laughs> BMW but here everybody and everybody can be a shield winner Okay, so when this happens, you have basically two choices. Um, pawn at g2 and defend against the pawn storm, or go something like knight f4 and g5, and then just trade and defend with the bishop or the queen. Or third choice, I forgot about the first choice, just ignore everything. Why does anyone play d4, d5? John, I think, because uh, they uh, fear uh, some of the lines versus e4, which are more um, forcing, I guess is the word, and therefore easily studyable.
oops, Bishop at g3 needed, but then knight f3 comes. Some ideas though with let's say pawn at c6 here. Bishop takes, blocker take. Don't know if it works. But nice tactic by Terra there. Because even bishop at g3, there's still rook takes and then knight f3. That was nice, nicely spotted. Okay, he goes pawn at d7 first, and then he wants to go at c6, I guess. But now you can maybe respond with bishop at c6. I see you later, upper. And now if you go here, there is knight f3, because the bishop's no longer covering. Now you could maybe go for some knight f3 ideas again. This comes with check though, so there's no time for sneaky moves. Bishop at c6, yeah, I'm also not that convinced looking at the position right now, but knight e4 is a good find. Takes the pressure off a bit. This probably losing. But rook g5, for example. Ooh, ouch. You forgot about the check for sure. Knight c6 wins. Yeah. Okay, Alduto back on the board. Pawn at c5 had to be found, but uh, he did. Now you either have to give up the rook or walk into uh, mating one or a couple. Here's it, something like this. Oh, I'm saying mating one, but it's actually not that <laughs> clearly mating one, but queen e3 should be enough. This is what happens when you're down in a match. The, the mates are still not that easy. <laughs> and they go king h4 and then rook takes h3. Okay. There we go. 4-4. Four, four. That felt like... Uh, Bishop takes e6, that was a blunder. Too bad. Tar going back to d4. And they're repeating the line. If Alduta would have won it, maybe he could have get, gotten a draw there with bishop at e6. I wonder if Terra would have played bishop at g3 again. But now there is a, a difference. This is coming sometimes, but of course you have to figure out how to cover this first. Now we might see trades in knight b5. And then knight f5 comes to cover again. So classic development to e2 in these lines because you want to keep the option of f3 open and maybe jump to uh, these squares. 
and why you want to keep this open because you uh, want to control the squares where maybe a bishop can land or where a pawn can land. As we saw in a previous game, Terra got in via e5, black didn't play f6. Should black even castle in this line? I think as soon as this comes, then it's a good idea to get castled, yeah. Uh, this is only round three, first night, so it's not the uh, world championship, but it's round three of the of the knockout phase. So we're still uh, watching, and actually, it's going to be a very close finish. We have 4-4 uh, and it's 10 games and if it's 5-5 five, five after 10 games then we'll have a tiebreaker of two games each. Um, and in your question, if I'm not playing, no, I'm already in round 4. So I'm waiting for my next opponent to <laughs> advance in a, towards round 4 and that's going to be not Jan Lee is his handle <laughs> or Art of Deception. Yeah, that's a blunder. Bishop takes e2. <laughs> Terra may be nervous. Just uh, search on the clear cast there uh, first night and you can see where I am. Yeah, that's a big blunder because that's a very nice piece placement on E2 is coming. Rookie 2 probably is good. Knight 2 is good. Just take the bishop. Problem with these moves is they all need a response because otherwise it gets stronger and there is no attack yet on these squares bishop is nicely covering these bishops are very good so Terra needs a couple of moves to go uh, on the attack whereas El Duto now has time to figure out how to continue Bishop, take, bishop e6 seems nice. If a couple of pawn trades come, you're going to go pawn h3 and go in on the light squares here. Um, as soon as you win a knight, there is rook at g1 and knight at f2 mate. So that's also a problem for Terra. So, train flipper suggested bishop at f2 to maybe go here. But I like bishop e6 as well. I mean, you can, you can even just be greedy here and grab a pawn, I guess. But he's going after the knight. He has his eyes set, set on these checkmating patterns. Maybe pawn f3 now is a move. Just take. Knight c3 is also possible, of course. Once this knight's gone, the trick doesn't, the mate doesn't work anymore. And now he has pawns that can land on h3 or f3. So there's another uh, line of attacking opening. Yeah, I would have liked to see this move one move earlier. Maybe it would have transposed, but... Yeah, 
because now there's also threat here so take take well pawn at h3 seems logical think after sometimes there's also the pin coming into effect Yeah, rook at g2 is a huge threat. Mating one. And the queen is also hanging. But this is game over. Mm, there's some. First knight, there's some. Okay. Take the queen. Queen e2, uh, queen of three takes e2 is coming. I'll do this time management though. It is uh, slightly concerning. Uh, six seconds should be enough. Bishop at c3, last trick. Aduto already thought about it and found mate. Ooh. Ah, he has discovered. Okay, I missed bishop on b3. <laughs> we had another king wall coming. But no, Alduto saw the board clearer there. Okay, this is a must win for Terra 87. If he does, then we're gonna have at least two more games. Because they have to win after 5 5, they have to win by a margin of two. In case of a draw, El Duto wins. So it's must win. And they repeat the line from a couple of games back where this happened. And bishop at f6 and bishop b4. I think El Duto was happy with what happened there. Especially now he has some more time. He has to go here or knight at d5. to cover e7 and to cover the knight. But I think El Duto was happy with that what happened and now he has more time. So opening stage feels like uh, El Duto is uh, doing well. He played queen at g5 last time and then bishop f6 came. This is some preparation here, but this is exactly the same as they played uh, a couple of games back. So I think preparation stops about uh, here. But as they already played it, it's just repeating.
Okay. Sorry, got distracted a bit. Yeah, queen g5 takes what's gonna happen. Let's see what happened in the game. I played bishop e5 this, this time, okay. Looks good for black. Uh, I don't know. If he can get rid of the threats, then it does. But it's scary for black, I can imagine, with the king over there. But yeah, maybe it's just fine. Block. Take queen. King d7. It's a nice calculation. Wow. Really? Pawn at e3. Guess it's very strong. Takes if you take back knight lands on e4. You have two knights, so that's usually needed in these types of attacks. Now you can go pawn f2. He goes here. Very interesting game. If you take knight e4, yeah, we are here sitting train flipper. Just it's just takes and king king is safe. But I can imagine El Duto has some nerves as well as Terra here. You cannot do anything about that. It just happens. Yeah, that's this is a important note. So queen f8, king d7. Queen, rook takes. Then the king can go here. So it's not working. What is pawn at c3? I maybe want something like this. Now queen f8 is threat of mate with rook d8 next. Ah, uh, it's game. That's game. That's game. Congrats to El Duto. Yeah, he finds it. Very nice match. It it feels like the match deserved some overtime. But uh, El Duto takes it. Well done. And uh, good games to both players. Uh, I enjoyed watching this. I hope you did as well. Um, I'll stop for the moment for streaming, but I'll be back later tonight playing some of my own crazy house. Um... And so I'll hope to see you there. And um, we'll see how we do tonight. I'll uh, see you later, guys, and uh, have a good day. Bye bye. Hey, El Duto. Oh, okay, we're going to congratulate El Duto. El Duto is there. <laughs> Congrats, El Duto, on your victory. Very well done. I was about to finish the stream and get some dinner uh, preparations going. Good luck in your ne next one. We had fun uh, 
fun watch, watching your games.